Sometimes we may photograph the same scene at different times, by different cameras, with different pose or viewpoint, or different lighting conditions. We often want to make such different images appear more similar. For example, we may prefer the color palette of one image, but the composition of another. Sometimes such transformations can be accomplished by hand, using desktop photo editing software like Picasa or iPhoto. But even the limited degrees of freedom this software provides are a huge space to explore by hand. Many researchers have approached this problem by treating color palettes as statistical distributions to be aligned. But if there are uniquely colored objects that appear in only source or target images, statistical approaches can fail dramatically. Other methods using feature descriptors work well for rigid piecewise planar scenes, but don't extend well to non-rigid scenes. Manual input can be very effective, but is imprecise and doesn't scale well to large image collections. Our approach is to jointly recover a model of correspondence between images, including both a dense matching between image regions and a color transformation model to explain the global color differences between images. The dense region matching is non-parametric, aligning small 8x8 patches of pixels with a simple gain and bias to achieve robustness to color changes. Because the correspondence does not assume a planar or rigid scene, the algorithm can find matches even in scenes with significant changes of contents or pose. The color transformation is a parametric model, combining per-channel nonlinear tone curves with a saturation matrix for cross-channel adjustments. This parametric model can extrapolate from the regions with known correspondence to other regions where the correspondence is unknown. To recover this image correspondence model, we propose a course-defined algorithm that repeats the following four steps at each scale. Nearest neighbor search, region aggregation, color transform fitting, and search range adjustment. First, for each patch in the target image, find its nearest neighbor in the reference image, searching over a constrained range of translations, scales, rotations, brightness, and contrast values. We use the generalized patch match algorithm to do this efficiently. Second, aggregate consistent regions of matches. Regions that pass a consistency test are considered reliable enough for color alignment. Third, robustly fit a color transformation model to these reliable consistent regions. Fourth, adjust the search range for each degree of freedom of the nearest neighbor patch search in the next iteration. This adjustment uses both the recovered patch correspondence and the global color model to estimate plausible ranges for the search parameters. These four steps are repeated at each scale and in multiple passes until the correspondence and color transformation have converged. We compared our method to others using a dataset with known ground truth. SIFT features are robust, but too sparse for many applications. SIFT flow combines SIFT descriptors with optical flow, but fails under severe distortions. Generalized patch match fails on featureless regions. Our method recovers a large fraction of the corresponding points. On real-world images with significant changes of color, focus, and pose, SIFT correspondences are often incorrect. Generalized patch match produces very few useful matches. Our method produces dense correspondences with minimal outliers. The robust dense correspondence that we recover between images can be used for additional operations requiring image correspondence, such as mask transfer, deblurring, and local color transfer. For example, if we have a hand-drawn mask for one image, we can use our correspondences to transfer known regions of the mask into the other image, and use GrabCut to solve for regions with unknown correspondence. If we have both a blurry image and a sharp image of a similar scene, we can use the correspondence between them to compute a blur kernel and deconvolve the blurry image. Or, we can further refine our global color model by using the recovered correspondences to compute local color transformations for different regions in the image. We have presented a model and algorithm for jointly matching the global color transformation and local dense patch correspondence between a pair of images. In the future, we believe our approach may have broader applications in the many graphics and vision problems requiring correspondence between images, from stereo and optical flow to 3D reconstruction to object detection. Our method is robust, practical, and effective for real-world image adjustment tasks.